All right, so we're going to go over IFF, identify friend or foe, for those of you getting on multiplayer sessions and are getting banned because you're shooting down your own guys. This happens when someone takes on the enemy's side, takes out the uh, AWACS, and now you don't have the uh, little radar tracks that give you green and red, so you know who's good and who's bad. AWACS is gone. Now all you get is radar uh, contacts, little white dots, and that's it. You don't know what color they are because... Well, you, you don't have AWACS to tell you who they are. So so the IFF system is down here on the back left panel in the F-16. IFF panel. Uh, everything by default should be fine. If you want to go into detail on each of these switches and what they are, Chuck's Guides goes into that a little bit. Uh, there are other videos out there that will go into this if you want to. But for my video, all I'm doing is trying to help the beginners who just want to get out and fly and not hurt their own guys. So... By default, this is usually on off if you're doing a cold start on the on the ground. Once you get in the air, you want to make sure this is on norm. I even do this on the ground, but put this on norm. Once you're in norm, you're good to go. If you're not in norm, if you're on off, you are not transponding. You're not you're not sending out I am a friend, and you're not able to interrogate others to see if they are friends. So set this to norm, and now when people do an IFF scan on you, your transponder will respond, I am friendly. Without that on, they're probably going to fire on you, so make sure that you've got that set to norm. Once you have it on norm, you can go on your radar, and now AWACS is down. I don't have AWACS, so I have no way of knowing if these guys are good or bad, right? I need to find out. So best way to do that, you have your radar cursor switch, RDR cursor switch, lets you move the radar around, your target management switch, TEMIS switch, and that's really all you're going to need. All right, so once you have the radar contacts in sight, a left TEMIS long will do a line of sight scan. And you'll see that on the bottom left, LOS, line of sight. And it'll interrogate all the, the uh, targets on this side, uh, or right in line with this portion of the radar, all right? So left long, line of sight. It's going to send out a, a request and get a response. I'm not getting a response from this one, all right? So that could be an enemy. Come over here on the left side. Line of sight, long. So left Temus, long. More than two seconds. And boom, I've got a friendly. So this is a friendly, guaranteed. This, I don't know if it's friendly. All right. Say I've got a bunch of contacts out here. And I don't want to left long. Left long. Left long, you know. Instead, I just do a left short. Left short, and it scans. You'll see it says scanning. And it scans the entire view of the radar. So left short, scan, and scanning the entire view. I know I have a friendly here, and I don't know about this one, right? So I can assume this is most likely enemy. So that way you don't shoot down friendlies. Left long or left short, honestly, just left short. If you're in a stressful situation, you need to just find out who's who. Left short, it's going to scan the entire view uh, at this altitude, of course. And if you want uh, a video on how to, like, there could be someone below, uh, like, at this point, there could be someone below 9,000 feet. I've got a video on uh, Radar Basics. Go ahead and watch that, and it'll show you how to find those. But once you have them, you have the contacts, left short, and boom, scanning everything, got a response. Friendly, probably not friendly. All right? Hope that keeps a few of you from getting banned on servers for shooting down your own guys.